Hello gorgeous friends, Ernestine here. Um, I guess I just don't have to say that anymore. <laughs> of course it's me. Look at me. Hello. I have to explain what just happened because it was really interesting and strange. Um, it is nighttime, as you will notice, which I usually don't do to you people for filming my dance videos because the lighting is shit. However, <clears throat> due to the current pandemic, my very first booking as a burlesque dancer in Berlin was moved to Twitch online, so it was moved from this amazing, super queer-friendly, happy, everybody nudity drugs like wonderful stage with drinks in a bar Berlin place to an online platform that, um, oh my god, I had an entire meltdown day when I read what was allowed on the platform and what was not. And this is, there was a performance for this uh, legendary Berlin scene called Gaze's Poke House, in which a uh, wonderful Scottish drag queen um, presents the latest in, in drag and drag adjacent uh, up and coming performing artists. And she, I was given the honor of being invited to perform on um, April 14th and then, the world <laughs> exploded and now that the whole show went online. So it will be presented online, uh, which is why I cannot release it um, yet. It depends when I release this video, but anyway. Um, so yes, that will be occurring on the 14th, and I'm sure that I, by now I have linked you all over the place to where you can see the debut of this sh of my Berlin <laughs> debut, which is online. <laughs> like, fuck me, like, oh my god, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I had to film this thing at night because we were trying to make the illusion that the uh, the show goes on, only all the performers are performing from the comfort of their own homes. Thus, the evening, right? Um, so, but the guidelines for Twitch are no nudity, definitely not, no nipples, no under cleavage. Under cleavage? Is that a thing? It's a thing, according to Twitch. No um, buttocks from the waist to the under waist, you know what I mean? Has to be completely covered, the pelvic area, I believe they said. And then, this is the kicker that knocked me on the ass for the whole day, was uh, there, is, there is no um, sexually suggestive content allowed, i.e. stripping. So burlesque is pretty much completely illegal on Twitch, and thus I wrote an email to Giza and I said, my love, I cannot do burlesque in your show. What the fuck do I do? So, I felt very sorry for myself all day and I had a lot of chocolate and then the next morning I woke up and I made a plan and the plan was <clears throat> what you're um, about to see or has been posted or whatever. Um, so I, I did I did a burlesque performance almost completely clothed and it's so tragic and it's so sad but this is the fucking internet and it's a fucking pandemic so you know. A hoe has to make a, make a concession. However, after I was done recording this performance, for you lovely people, there was an addendum because my nipples wanted to get out of the bra and my body wanted to get out of the corset and my ass wanted to get out of the full coverage fucking underwear. So I continued recording and it ended up being like another three songs. <laughs> and I've decided that, um... <clears throat> You know a point she was dead when. Ouch. So <laughs> I also did a sort of like little farewell to these pair of point shoes that have been up and down ladders and they're like so sad. So if you would like to become a captain on Patreon, um, you may own this, which is like amazing. <laughs> um yeah, and 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 as a as a reaction in my my whole soul of Samadahari souls, um not only did I have to go down to my usual dance down to my usual burlesque finale moment, which is pasties and a thong and point shoes and stockings, but after that this the music continued and I had to keep going and I had to take off my point shoes and my stockings and my pasties until I was just down to my thong, and then by then it was like, fuck this, <laughs> fuck everything, fuck internet censorship, and I took the damn thing off. So if you're a patron, you'll get to see those videos, because I can't really release that to all of YouTube, sorry folks. Um, 
And yeah, that's what that's what just happened. So now I'm like in my my robe and I'm going to go take a bath and recover from the nightmares of centrism that, that I thought I had um that I thought I had escaped when I left the US faster. If you will look behind me, you will see this delightful European phenomenon. There's a woman across the courtyard in her in her kitchen who sees everything that I do in this room when I forget to close the drapes, which means she got the, the full drag performance for free and uh, anything else that I care to share with her. So I don't know if the neighbors have noticed who's moved in across their courtyard, but um, European living, so charming. And uh, she has a child. Oops. Fuck it. Jesus Christ, why is this so hard? I just like, we were born naked and the rest is drag. And um, good night, my loves, and good luck. Okay, <laughs> in this fucking censored world. Okay, ciao.